In this lesson guys, I will show you how to create objects in the network editor. If you hover the mouse on the network editor and hit tab on the keyboard and let's type geo and now I can select the geometry and I will click somewhere in the network editor to place the node and I can double click on the node to dive inside and I can go here and click on the object to go up one level and let's dive again to the inside by double clicking here and this node created by Houdini by default okay when you created the node so I will select that and I will hit delete on the keyboard to delete the node and now I will hit tab on the keyboard and I will type box and I will click on the box and I will place it somewhere here and again I will hit tab again and I will type sphere now I will hit enter on the keyboard once and twice to place the sphere okay so you see here I have two circles okay the blue circle is the viewer circle and the purple one is the render circle so now if I click somewhere here now I am moving the two circles to the sphere and I will click again here I am moving the circles to the box or I can hover the mouse and I will click on the eye icon to move the circles okay so the blue circle is the viewer circle guys so for example if I hold R on the keyboard and drag a selection on the box so now I moved the two circles to the box but if you hold T on the keyboard and drag a rectangle here now I move the purple circle here but the blue circle remains at the box so what this mean this means when you hit render you will see the sphere not the box okay so let's see I will come here and I will click on the render view and now if I click on render So now you see I am seeing the sphere, not the box. But if I click somewhere here now and hold T on the keyboard and I will drag a selection by left mouse click and drag on the box. So now I am seeing the box in the render. But if I go, let me stop the render by clicking on this X uh, icon. But if I go to scene view, now I am seeing the sphere in the scene, not the box okay and let's type a transfer node on the sphere by hitting tab on the keyboard and type transfer and I will hit enter twice to place the node and I will connect the sphere to the transfer and I will move the circle here okay but if you want to move the purple circle here too you need to hold R on the keyboard and drag a rectangle on the circle okay so let's T try T okay I move the two circles to the transform mode so I will click on the move tool and I will select the transform mode I don't know why I don't see the move tool I should see that okay that's not a problem so I will click on the handle tool now I am seeing the manipulator or the handle so I will click on the X and move it to the back okay so say for example you want to see the box and the, the sphere at the same scene okay so you can do that by coming here and clicking on this area this is the template icon so I will click on that so now I am seeing the ghost of the box in the viewport okay and of course guys when you hover the mouse on the transfer node or on any node you see here I have this node ring okay so if you don't like that and you want to hide that you can come here and click on this eye icon and here you see I have the show node ring I can choose when only when zoomed out so if I click on that so now when I am near to the nodes I don't see that when I hover the mouse over the node but if I use my scroll mouse button and zoom out 
as you see when I zoom out too far now I am seeing the node ring and here you can change it to only at medium and far zoom okay so that means when you zoom out a little bit you can see it but when you zoom in you don't see that or you can hide it by clicking on never okay so I will close that I don't like to use the node ring okay and if you click here and drag left mouse click and drag you can size resize the windows okay if you click here you see here I am expanding now the network editor and if I click again here I am returning the window to the default size or you can click here you can now minimize that okay so I will click here again and if you click at the center guys you can flip the windows okay so I am flipping the windows if you click here again I can expand the viewport I will click again or I can click at the center here to flip it okay something like that as you see it's all messed up so I can click on the shelf to close that as you see I am clicking here to close or collapse the the player let's say you want to return everything to the default state you can simply come here and click here and click on build this is the build okay so I can reset the build by coming here and click on reload current desktop so this will reset the build okay I will click on reload current desktop so now everything returns to the default okay you can choose any workspace you want animate for animation if you want to do animation and modeling for modeling and so on okay games and so on I will choose build for now okay guys so that's it for this lesson if you have any questions ask in the discussions so see you in the next lesson